Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From handbags made out of pure gold to ancient cheese lost in time, here are eight amazing and unexpected finds. Number 8. An Italian Pot of Gold In late 2018, construction workers in the northern Italian city of Como discovered a literal pot of gold. They had been tasked with demolishing the historic Cressoni Theatre, which had been in place since 1870 and had closed its doors in 1997 to make way for an upscale residential building. Cause that's the way it always goes. As the workers dug beneath the building's foundation, a dirty, old, and seemingly worthless pot appeared. As you know, things aren't always as they seem. While removing it from the worksite, the workers noticed some perfectly preserved gold coins through a crack in the soapstone amphora pot. The images and engravings on the coins were surprisingly visible. Experts were summoned to the scene and the demolition was paused. The coins are being painstakingly removed one by one for further analysis. Out of the 27 coins that have been analyzed, the treasure dates as far back as the 5th century, or the late Roman Imperial era, with the most recent coin having been produced in 474 AD. The discovery is particularly intriguing because at that time, which was shortly before the Roman Empire's untimely demise, the Roman economic system was experiencing very little currency flow. Engravings on the coins indicate that they originated over the span of five emperors, including Honorius, Valentinian III, Leon I, Antonio, and Libio Severo. Get ready for a pop quiz on those later. The Italian media has speculated that the coins could be worth millions of euros. A bar of gold has also been found in the urn, and archaeologists believe more treasure may lie at the bottom of the vessel. As the treasure is removed, a process known as layer analysis will be applied to determine the period of time over which the coins were placed into the urn. This hoard is the only one of its kind that has been unearthed in northern Italy. According to rare coin expert Maria Grazia Facchinetti, the coins were buried in a way that indicates an ability to execute a quick retrieval in the event of danger. Based on the way the coins were stacked in organized roles, similarly to how it's done in modern financial institutions, Facchinetti also speculated that the treasure may have been the property of a public bank, or may have been a bank deposit. A theory that makes perfect sense since the treasure was found near the city's forum, where business transactions commonly took place. Number 7. Soviet-era buoy After the historically infamous Category 5 Hurricane Irma ravaged parts of the Caribbean and the southern United States in 2017, a 12-foot-long Soviet-era float appeared on Dania Beach in South Florida. The 1,200-pound buoy was first spotted two days after the storm hit by Bill Moore, a maintenance mechanic at Dr. Von D. Mizell Eula Johnson State Park. Using a rope and skid steer loader, Moore dragged the mysterious vessel to his office parking lot. Authorities assumed that the object originated from Cuba, based on the country's proximity to Florida and its past relations with the Soviet Union. Meteorologists drew the same conclusion via their in-depth knowledge of weather patterns. Robert Moleda, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service, explained that such an object could easily become dislodged during a storm as catastrophic as Hurricane Irma, and could just as easily end up on the Florida coast. The float's use remains unknown. Russian text on the device's side translates to Hydrometrical Service of the USSR and identifies its lifting capacity as 6,600 pounds. According to Moleda, buoys like this are often used to predict weather changes, including natural disasters such as tsunamis, and to measure wave height. Russian Area Specialist of the European Division of the Library of Congress, Robert M. Lake, suspects that the buoy may have been used for more than weather-related purposes. He believes it may have aided Soviet cargo vessels entering or leaving Cuba, and that amidst the chaos of the Soviet Union collapse in 1991, it was simply left where it was placed. According to the last known whereabouts of the buoy, it was in the possession of park staff. However, it has drawn the attention of several government entities, including the Coast Guard and engineers with the Naval Sea Systems Command. Number 6. A Tree Burning From The Inside Out when a truck driver in Ohio noticed the sight and smell of smoke during a break in late 2015, he decided to investigate. He happened upon a hellish sight, a blackened tree that appeared to be burning from the inside out. Not surprisingly, once the video footage of the burning tree hit the internet, a sort of hysteria erupted among superstitious viewers, who rushed to the conclusion that the weird fire was caused by demonic forces. However, you might be surprised to hear that this is a fairly common occurrence, and there's a perfectly logical explanation for it. Do you know what happened? Simply put, these internal tree fires are caused by lightning, and they fail to burn on the tree's surface due to moisture just beneath the bark. 
The sappy interior of a tree conducts electricity much better than its woody outside. While a fire can certainly spread in dry conditions, it's likely to remain contained when the outside of a tree is damp and can continue for days. The footage caught on camera by the truck driver is an example of the latter. And now for number five. But first, have you ever found something amazing by accident? Let me know in the comments below. I found some fossilized shells and stone on the beach once. And be sure to subscribe if you are new here and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number five, a gold handbag. When Welsh sisters Linda and Margaret Pritchard found an apparently worthless chainmail handbag in late 2018, one of them decided to err on the safe side and seek a second opinion about its value. They soon learned that it was a 105-year-old Art Deco bag made completely out of gold. It was valued at around $3,900. The bag had been inherited by 59-year-old Margaret from a man she once cared for named Gwyn Jones, and it was thereafter stored in 61-year-old Linda's garage. According to Margaret, she'd stowed Mr. Jones's belongings in her sister's garage simply for a lack of alternative storage space, and the items remained there for years until Linda decided to remove them. As the sisters worked together to clear the so-called junk from Linda's garage, Margaret placed the bag in the designated toss pile. Linda, on the other hand, wondered why Mr. Jones had held on to the bag and asked her optician to look at it. Her hunch that the bag had value was correct. The optician identified that it was made out of pure 15 karat American gold. Paperwork and images found with the bag helped experts determine that it had belonged to a wealthy socialite named Dora Jones during the 1950s. Jones was known for traveling on royal cruise ships and had once been married to General Secretary of the North Atlantic British Liner Committee, David Archibald. Number four, the world's oldest chunk of cheese. While cleaning around a 19th dynasty tomb at Saqqara in the ancient Egyptian city of Memphis between 2013 and 2014, archeologists discovered a broken jar containing a solidified whitish substance. They now believe that it is the oldest solid cheese residue ever found. It was uncovered within the tomb of Thomas, the ancient mayor of Memphis. The tomb had become consumed by sand following its initial discovery in 1885 and was rediscovered in 2010. The 3,200 year old cheese was created from a mixture of cow's milk and that of either a goat or a sheep. Mmm, my favorite. Murals on the walls of ancient Egyptian tombs trace cheese making in the region as far back as 2000 BC. However, evidence indicates that the practice has been around for much longer, with its earliest known signs dating back some 7,000 years in Northern Europe. While older cheese residues that can be attributed to the natural fermentation of milk have been discovered, the ancient cheese at Saqqara lacks evidence of natural milk fermentation. According to Enrico Greco, the author of a study on the specimen that was published in Analytical Chemistry last year, this particular discovery therefore represents the oldest solid cheese ever found. Analysis of the cheese also uncovered the first biomolecular evidence of a disease known as brucellosis, which was contracted by the consumption of unpasteurized dairy products existing during the Pharaonic period. Number three, Chinese hourglass spider. In 2016, an orange farmer in southeast China named Li Wenhua spotted what he thought was a brooch sticking out of the soil. He took a closer look and realized that it was a huge spider. It wasn't just any spider, but a rare species known as the Chinese hourglass spider, which possesses a uniquely cylindrical abdomen. The species was once presumed to be extinct, but was rediscovered in the year 2000. Since then, only six known sightings of the Chinese hourglass spider have been made. The discovery even wowed entomologist Zhao Li, who confirmed the spider's rarity in an interview with Chengdu Business Daily and admitted to unsuccessful past efforts to find one. Because the Chinese hourglass spider lives underground, it is rarely seen. However, this species has been around since the 5th century. After becoming aware of its value, the farmer announced plans to sell the spider as a pet. Not sure what happened after that. Number two, the lonely castle. Among the ruins of the Madain Saleh archaeological site in the Saudi Arabian desert sits an unfinished temple from the first century known as Qasr al-Farid, or the Lonely Castle. Built as part of the ancient Nabataean site of Hegra, the so-called castle is actually a tomb that was chiseled from the top down out of rock, per the unique construction techniques of the Nabataeans. Features of the unfinished tomb that would normally be considered unattractive, such as the diminished quality of the craftsmanship and precision at the structure's base, have helped researchers gain much-needed insight into the steps taken by the ancient society prior to the polishing of the uneven work. 
The lonely castle was constructed out of a single boulder along a major ancient trade route linking the north and south of the Arabian Peninsula. Elements of Egyptian, Hellenistic, and Assyrian architecture were incorporated into the four-story structure. It is the biggest of the 131 monumental tombs at Mada in Saleh, and was therefore most likely intended for a powerful person, as size was an indicator of wealth and importance in this culture. The site's dry climate has contributed to the remarkable preservation of the 1900-year-old building. In 2008, the collection of monuments became Saudi Arabia's first designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 1. The Liver Jar when one British family's eccentric uncle passed away in 1989, his descendants inherited a 13-inch tall terracotta jar that they used as a decoration in their garden and sometimes stored in their shed atop a piano. This alternating use continued on and off for around 20 years. When the jar's owner took a closer look at the item and realized it bore a striking resemblance to ancient Egyptian artwork, they decided to have it looked at by a professional. The item was confirmed to have ancient Egyptian origins. It was created based on the image of the Egyptian god Mseti and was used to store and protect the liver of a deceased person for use in the afterlife. Experts dated the item to sometime between 1550 and 1069, making it a rare item indeed. Unfortunately for the owner, who passively allowed the jar to be damaged by the elements for upwards of 20 years, it was expected to sell for no more than 1,000 pounds, or roughly $1,300 when it went up for auction in 2009. Thanks for watching! Be sure to subscribe, there's more where this came from! See you in the next video! Bye!